Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've decided to try doing Inktober this year. For those who don't know, it's a drawing challenge devised by Jake Parker and it consists of making a drawing in ink for each day in October. I don't know if I'll be able to do all 31 drawings, but my goal is to do at least 15 or 16 this year, so half of Inktober. The materials I'll be using are my Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, because I really want to get better at using it. It's a lovely pen, but it's not the easiest to use. A Uniball Signa White Gel Pen and my Canson XL Croquis Sketchbook. The paper is quite thin and a bit rough, but the ink doesn't bleed through and I quite like it. I won't be doing a video for each drawing, but I will do a final flip through of my October sketchbook at the end of the month, so keep a look out for that. If you don't want to miss it, subscribe and click the little notification bell next to the subscribe button. If I have the time, I might do a video for one or two of the other drawings meanwhile as well, but I don't want to promise anything I'm not sure I'll be able to deliver on. So, day one. I've decided to follow the official prompts list in order to take me a little out of my comfort zone and get me drawing things that I wouldn't normally draw. The prompt for the first day is poisonous, so for this I've decided to draw a little fugu, a puffer fish, and some belladonna. I've never drawn a puffer fish before, so I looked up some reference. They look so cute despite all the spikes, all round with big eyes and that smiley-like mouth. They are incredibly poisonous as well, in addition to having those spikes. Those fish are determined not to get eaten. And of course, belladonna is deadly nightshade. I don't usually draw plants or flowers, so this was a good exercise for me. I found that I really enjoyed it as well. You can see me working mostly from left to right with the ink, top to bottom. This is because I'm right-handed and I'm trying to minimize the chances of me resting my hand on ink that isn't dry yet, smudging and ruining everything. I also took a few small pauses in between at some points to make sure the ink was totally dry. That's one thing you don't have to worry about when working digitally. The prompt for day two is tranquil and I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do for that. If you'd like to see what I come up with, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I'll have the links down below. And I would love it if you tag me to show what you have done if you post anything. If you'd like to participate in Inktober, it's not too late to get started. You can find the official prompt list at inktober.com but you don't have to follow it. You can use traditional media, digital, whatever you like, and draw whatever you like.
and my puffer fish is now done. If you like this video and my little puffer fish, please give it a thumbs up and it would mean the world to me if you'd subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!